Hello, I am Rahish. Today I am discussing about ISRO's PSLV C-52 EOS-4 mission. On 14th February 2022, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, is launching the 54th mission of India's reliable polar satellite launch vehicle, PSLV C-52, carrying the Earth Observation Satellite 4, EOS-4, INS-2TD and InspireSat-1. The launch is scheduled on 14th February at 0559 hours IST from the first launch pad FLP of the Satish Dhawan Space Center SDSC Shar Sri Harikota. The primary satellite EOS-4, previously known as RISAT-1A, is a radar imaging satellite. It is a follow-on satellite to the RISAT-1 launched in 2012. This EOS-4 satellite will be able to provide high-quality images under any weather conditions. Its application areas include agriculture, forestry and plantations, flood mapping, soil moisture and hydrology. It will collect data in C-band. Hence, it will also complement the data already being provided by Resorsat, Cartosat satellites and RISAT-2B satellites. The first satellite in the RISAT series was not RISAT-1, it was actually RISAT-2, launched in 2009. RISAT-2 was built in urgency after the 2008 Mumbai attacks when its need was felt. RISAT-2 used an X-band synthetic aperture radar from Israel. The next satellite in the series, RISAT-1, was completely made in India and so did all the other satellites in the series. The other co-passenger satellites are INS-2TD and InspireSat-1. INS-2TD from ISRO is a precursor to the India-Bhutan joint satellite INS-2B. It has a thermal imaging camera as its payload and it will benefit assessment of land surface temperature, water surface temperature of wetland or lakes, delineation of vegetation and thermal inertia. InspireSat-1 is a technology demonstrator built in collaboration by Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, IIST, and the University of Colorado, United States. Other contributors are NTU Singapore and NCU Taiwan. It has two scientific payloads for study of ionosphere dynamics and sun's coronal heating processes. The launcher carrying all these satellites is PSLV C-52. In this mission, the variant being used is PSLV XL, which uses six extended strap-on S-12 boosters. This is the most capable variant of PSLV. PSLV is a four-stage vehicle. The first stage is called PS-1. It uses 139 tons of hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene HTPB-based solid propellant. The core first stage is called S-139. Second stage, PS-2, uses 41 tons of hypergolic propellant, namely US-25 and dinitrogen tetroxide with a Vikas engine. Third stage, HPS-3, is also a solid motor with 7.65 tons of propellant. Fourth stage, PS-4, also uses hypergolic propellant, but unlike PS-2, it uses monomethyl hydrazine, MMH, and mixed oxides of nitrogen, MON3. Its propellant mass can vary according to mission requirements. In this mission, it is carrying 2.5 tons of propellant. It uses two pressure-fed liquid engines. It also has restart capability and can also be used as an orbital platform. This will be the first launch of ISRO in 2022 and the first after Sri S. Somanath assumed charge as ISRO's new chairman. ISRO has planned 19 missions this year. So all the best to Team ISRO for this and all the upcoming missions. Thanks for watching my video.